my favorite things ever in a movie or a video game is when an item allows the user to see the past. I was really hoping Star Atlas would have a feature like this, and they do, guys. It was just announced in the Atlas Star. So let's go take a look at this rare flower and three ways I could see it being used in the Star Atlas game. What's up, guys? How's it going? Welcome back to Atlas Theory. Now, I was reading the latest Atlas Star when I came across a section called the Knee Flower. So the story of this flower starts here, the Punab Whisper, the Atlas Star Tabloid. Let's get into it. Let's read it. Guys, ah, uh, this is so exciting. This is so cool. Dear readers, we are back for a new edition of the Punab Whisper, and today my new assistant, Libra.iddt, and I have finally started our adventure through some of the most exclusive alternate markets of the galaxy in order to try to find the legendary knee flower we have heard many rumors about this plant from our sources tales of how the plant enables one to relive past events as if they were currently happening causing devastating effects on the population of the elder realms where the plant was harvested and used it intensely until near extinction in order to identify a true specimen, we figured it would be best to first approach a specialist on the topic before venturing out to further reaches of the galaxy. Now they talk about um, contacting an old friend here. Dr. E is what I'm going to call him because like as many times as I've tried to pronounce this name, I can't. The main core here is they found this item that has this hologram projector that gives us this history of this flower here. The knee flower is a rare plant found on the planets closest to the cataclysm. So now it brings us into lore we've already have um, from the meta posters, um, this cataclysm event here with strong psychotropic properties that enables one to relive past experiences. Aside from this primary use, scientists have been known to use the knee flower as basis of a memory safekeeping device, allowing people to extract and transfer memories for different uses. So let's get into the three uses for the knee flower in the Star Atlas game. Guys, big disclaimer, this is nothing official. This is a theory craft to open up a conversation. So I want to hear what you guys think the flower can be used for down in the comment section. Number one, I think the knee flower could be used to relive your favorite game moments. We see this feature done in many games, whether it's a in-game camera all the way to like an end game montage of your journey. My good friend Just Chowda actually brought this up in our recent episode of Amarna Chat. We were talking about ways that Star Atlas could capture our favorite moments in the game. And this was before the knee flower was released, so we didn't actually include that in our conversation. But he brought up Final Fantasy 15 and how your companion was able to take pictures and you could get better pictures and better moments as you leveled up that character. Now I do have a quote from him about this feature and he says, the real tear jerker moment was the photo album playthrough at the end of the game when you beat it. A great song plays whilst a selection of your game photos played along with a few extra surprises, again, mostly unique to your playstyle and moments in game, right down to the clothing and weapons your characters were wearing at the time. Guys, now let's think of this in the context of Star Atlas. It would be so cool if there was some kind of feature, I don't know, like a camera feature or like a core memory or something where you could save either a photo or a recording of your journey and then relive it later near the end game by finding or purchasing like a knee flower ingesting it and reliving the past. So anyways, guys, that's why I think the knee flower would be a great way for us to relive our favorite moments in Star Atlas. The second use for the knee flower that I see in Star Atlas would be in the use of mystery quests. Now this could be anything from like a bounty hunting slash murder quest line to a Fatoli item finding adventure. 
Now, we see this in media a lot. For instance, Harry Potter or the latest Watchmen series on HBO, that there is a piece of information lodged away in somebody's memories that we need to retrieve to complete the mission. This memory is everything. Without it, we are blind. Without it, we leave the fate of our world to chance. Now, I have to stop myself because there's so many avenues and games and paths that I could talk about right now that have to do with this theme of like memory traveling. So I'm going to shelve it there, but let me know in the comment section if you want me to do a whole episode or bring some people on to do a live chat about it because there is so much theory crafting that could be going on about point number two uh, that, <laughs> that I feel the conversation isn't quite done yet. But if I had my way, the knee flower would definitely be used in some type of a mystery quest to recover information or find a lost item. All right, guys. Now, the third use for the knee flower is perhaps the most exciting one. You have been around since the early days of Star Atlas. You have picked your faction and been locked to it. You have created an avatar and a name and made so much progression in game. But now you're tired. You're tired of your character. You're tired of your look. You want to, you know, change from mud to Anushtar. The knee flower could be a way, according to its lore, that we could do it in a way that makes sense within the Star Atlas world. It mentioned memory transferring and safekeeping. So what if we could transfer with collecting a knee flower, which is super rare, you know, maybe you even get just one in the game. We transfer our memories out, right? And create an entirely new avatar, new name, and put those memories back in. This would be similar to Skyrim's avatar change. There was a feature, I believe, in um, Riften where you could pay someone to carve or change your face. And there you were able to pick you know, a uh, new race in Skyrim and customize the face again. And I think that feature would be really, really cool in Star Atlas. Well, guys, that's my theory craft on the three use cases for the Knee Flower. I want to hear what you guys think down in the comment section. Do you guys have another idea what this flower could be used for? I want to know. <laughs> I actually want to have more conversations about this, too. If you enjoyed this theory craft, guys, though, hit that like button for me. Subscribe for more Star Atlas videos, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.